this week is going to be a little bit hectic. Got a lot to do. I am just responding to some comments and then I'll clean up a little and get to painting. I want to make panels for my plein air class, but probably won't do it till later. I start tomorrow though, so I don't have much time. Ganella and Ancho are back. This is where we left off last week. I'm really happy with the colors that are starting to come out. Definitely want this to be a fairly clean piece, so I still have maybe another layer or two. I have so many things in my mind I don't actually know what to work on. And the one thing I do know that I should probably work on, um, I don't have the energy. This is my ordinary day. I make bits of progress on a long, slow painting in my studio. I overconsume music, podcasts, and videos. I might stare at an area the size of my thumbnail for half an hour. I never promised it was interesting. But when I'm there in that headspace, Maria is gone. I disappear into that work on the best days. And on the worst ones, I just stare at it, waiting for the right concept or feeling to jumpstart my nerves again. We left off working on these objects. Today I want to come over on this side a bit more. The other day I got a couple extra pictures from this spot that I'm painting so I could see what's happening on the back counter over there since I removed some people and I have an empty spot. It's basically a little glass shelf area. And I think painting is, is the time like when I kind of forget things. I decided to go at it because I, something spoke to me that maybe I could do something different. Something that you think is good deep in your heart that you love and you look at it you frown and then you realize that other people likes it too and that brings you income as well you can feed your family and be happy that's it you know that's i think that's success enough for some reason i really enjoyed this setup my painting closer to my desk and using the french easel made me more comfortable, kind of relaxed. I really just concentrated on this area and earlier in the day I worked through a bunch of these details. Not quite done, but definitely closer to this level of finish that I like. A few more layers later and I'm a lot happier with that floor area. I'm still gonna add in a couple more reflections later, like this light blue spot. I worked on this piece a couple hours here and there recently. It's not my main focus right now. That works well though. I can pick one area to concentrate on and pack it all up once my pace slows down. It's a challenging painting in terms of subtleties and finding the magic in it. I don't know enough to rush through this one. Those babies have grown a lot. Remember how little they were? I don't think the kids are just playing them. I like the new watering method. We need supplies for class tomorrow. Mostly just sketching things. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. Kind of rather use the little one. I think that's fine. I need drawing pencils, charcoal pencils, erasers. I think I have pencils I need. I just need to sharpen them. Retractable eraser that is almost empty. Another eraser, ruler, sketchbook. I think I'm ready. It's seven by eight. This is what we're making. I have one side of my contraption. Just need to figure out where to place it. Now I have an adjustable viewfinder. I just worked through a couple compositions, figuring out what I want to paint this week. I was standing over there before, looking this way, along that building, which has a nice perspective. But I'm kind of enjoying these benches and the depth going that way. Also this view looking back 
towards the building. Not my favorite sketch, <laughs> but this kind of shows the composition I'm preferring. There's a nice lightness in the background. I got all my stuff. And I think once I get home, I will pick what composition to do and make my panels. It's starting to rain. I'm so happy it ended after class. Pancho! He's sleeping. Got a little bit of tea because my throat doesn't feel great. I'm looking at some of Yvonne's old work for inspiration and to get an idea for like the scale of pieces I want to do in class. These all stay within the like 12 inch max that was suggested by our teacher. They just feel really nice in terms of size. So I kind of want to commit to doing all of my work in this format. For those who don't know, Yvonne is my boyfriend and the most phenomenal painter. I want to continue learning always, and nature, limitation, and pure experiences always seem to be the best teacher. So for the second year, I'm painting outside most of the summer. I think he wants to lay on the chairs. I lower the scale of my work and my expectations in the small hope of doing something unexpected and maybe failing just a little bit more often along the way. So I started adjusting this square composition to fit a, I think, four by six. Looking in this direction, I'm just focusing on values. This is going to be purely grayscale. I'm not being too careful. Just trying to get paint on there and then I will make adjustments because I started on a, a white ground. So it takes some time to build up. I spilled water on my foot, but everything else is good. Just did a little bit of a critique. The sun's gone, so my shadows are too, but I'd like to clean up the building and add some darkness to the tree. Time to pack up. Ow, 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 ow. Why is that so heavy? Peekaboo, where are you? I have some cookies, some coffee. I'm thinking about how class went. I just did a few touch-ups to clean things up, fix perspective. It also was a very cool color, not totally neutral like I wanted the mix to be. So I remixed my black to go over those elements as I cleaned them up. Um, that's mine. Hello? Pancho, you can't eat these ones. Thank you, Blick, for being kind enough to replace my caps because I am a silly person who seems to break everything. These are much needed and I'm very grateful. That was one of the worst ones. Lovely! I'm thinking it would be nice to have a dolly for taking my stuff to class or I could just continue to carry everything and get stronger since I look like a noodle. I just finished up with this piece. I think I'm gonna go move on to the next one. Cleaning up the building helped a lot. I'm pretty satisfied with the benches. I'm back at home. I didn't have time to show you this piece as I made it in class because I only had about an hour to do it and was just brushing. I had the piece in my hand as I was painting. And <laughs> This is the finished grayscale one, which I showed you. We had a little critique in class using these the past two days but even with the wet palette they dry really quickly so next week I'm gonna bring my open acrylics I don't tend to like these as much but if I'm in direct sunlight again there's just no other way everything else went well it was a good first week back to plein air painting it takes up a lot of time and once I get home I'm pretty tired it's been hard to get back into that piece I'm a little bit more lenient right now on what my schedule looks like so I need to clean this I was organizing a lot of old artwork and along with that is a bunch of sketchbooks and materials that have not been used so those need to get put away along with organizing the rest of my life to figure out what we can get done.
Let's do ten. We did do an awesome job cleaning. I wish I could show my friends, but all of our artwork is now inside of this box. Actually, I can kind of show you. I have old artwork underneath that table. Some of Yvonne's pieces are here, and there's still plenty of room for more stuff, which was good because it used to be all over the place. My bike fits in here now, my motorcycle, along with everyone else's tools and things, which is good. One big square for the last one. I think that's a decent stack. today. We're here. Let's just say the weather is not ideal for painting. So I've got my horizon line started. I was looking out there. I moved back once it started raining. Sketched in some of the composition and I'm just trying to capture colors. Today is a palette knife day. It's still raining, but at least now I'm warm and comfortable. I could not feel my fingers towards the end of class, but I'm very happy with this progress though. One of the focuses for this week is painting with palette knife. So it's not within my usual style or mark making, but I love it because I accidentally get more color variety. Usually I would just block in different shapes with one color, but when you're mixing with a palette knife, you really can't control things as well. I'm accidentally getting all the colors in it and it ends up being a good thing. Tomorrow and as I work on this piece, I can go back in clean things up, simplify things, but still keep those changes in color. In the meantime, I have a homework assignment due. I was going to paint out on the balcony. It's a little cold yet. I could also go downstairs and paint out of a window. Pancho, we're gonna paint down here. I'm deciding which window I want to do. I could do a scene like this. This is nice because there's a lot of color, but it's a bit more complicated. Just very faintly doing a sketch of the composition and then I'll get started. Okay, that's good. I'll get my easel and paper. I 
was testing out my slow drying acrylics today and the fact that they just melted on my wet palette um, kind of makes me sad. I think I'm going to stick with my heavier ones when I paint outside. I am a tedious person, secretly too cautious for my own good, but somehow reckless in other areas. I overthink, I'm overly careful, I worry naturally, unfortunately. But when I'm making or I'm creating, fulfilling a vision, my meticulous ways become my rebellion. I think that's all I have patience for. With time racing and a million things to do instead, I still choose to stay in a moment for an unordinary amount of time, taking it all in, reading the space around me like a book. That is painting. A middle finger to the world that just wants to keep moving without a second to spare or any idea of how roses smell. I took this class last year. I was probably more nervous then. My paintings were probably better because of it. I just care a little bit less this time, but in a good way. In a way that helps me to focus on more important things, like the lessons to be found, balance, and improving my courage. I want painting in plein air to start feeling like a part of my routine, and not an event that I have to perform for. It requires a different approach. Honestly, I'm very hungry. And I think I'm going to pack up. It's about 10 minutes before class is actually over, but I was feeling a bit stuck with my piece, so I'm gonna go take care of some things. I could leave it as it is and be done with it for the week, but I might touch it up at home. I'm just not happy with it yet. Yvonne got a letter from my little brother. Cute! I got my Panera lunch. We are going to do a little unboxing. This is something I bought to counteract my own laziness and weakness. Exhibit A, me struggling to open the box. Woo! A little trolley for my plein air easel. Pancho, you're in the shot. Finally caved. This has some beefy wheels though. This just up here. Oh yeah, now we need to put off. Beautiful. There. A nice little cart for my art stuff. I think we'll call it the art cart. Dang, I love this thing. Pancho! Pancho, get on here. No, come on. We need to check the weight capacity. Sit. No. Okay, stay. Lay down. Ah! Cool! I dig it! I just finished up my homework assignment. Did a few final touches. Honestly, it was really hard to work on this paper. I love the texture and the paper itself, but the warm color probably wasn't the best choice for the cooler, lighter scene. I'm pretty happy with that. And that's just working with a limited palette, primary colors, a burnt sienna and white. You don't need a lot of paint to get a good mix of colors. Ignore the mess. I finished my touch-ups on the piece from class, mainly cleaning up some lines in the dock and bench, trying to bring more texture and color changes into the rock, because that's another element in the front that I wanted to stick out. And then I just cleaned up the background and sky a little. After leaving class, I was not liking it, but I think I just needed to fill in spaces, and tomorrow I'll probably start and do a smaller piece I'm in another spot before we have critique for the week. I've been out here for about two hours and this is the piece I was doing. It's just a small study, but I'm pretty happy with it, so I might start packing up. There's yesterday's, two benches in this week. I am daring to take my time and spend it without a second thought like birthday money. There is so much bird poop around here and unfortunately my glass water bottle broke, so I am using pond water. Lots of beautiful spaces around here. Setting up my easel, preparing surfaces, the endless observing, that all becomes the work and painting as much as the final colors do.
Here it is, two weeks of work. Little progress here and pieces from class. One in grayscale, the rest in a limited color palette. My tiredness or struggles are only signs of that commitment and honestly, I'm happier because of them. I enjoy what I do. That chair makes you look cool. <laughs> she missed it. It was pink. Already? Ew. This is nice. I'm gonna sleep out here. I already did it. I already did it. I already did it. I Is it all the way to the pan or no? Yes. I gave Poncho a big chicken bone today and he was really happy. This is a good time to take a break. Oh, you guys are so She looks really funny.